Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Sometimes you may want to create a link that takes the user to another area on the same page. Also called named anchors, these links are helpful for especially long pages or when you want to make navigation easy on the page and organize information for the user. For example, you may want to use named anchors on an FAQ page so that users can easily get to their specified questions and return to the top of the page quickly and easily. Creating a named anchor is a two-step process. First, you must identify and name the spot on your page that you want to link to. You place the anchor tags around the area that you want to link to. Within the A start tag, place the name attribute with a value that is the name you choose. Second, you create the link to your newly named area with a slight variation. For named anchors, place a pound sign immediately before the name of the anchor. So, in our example, let's add a link that takes users to the top of the page. The first thing we need to do is identify that place on the page. In this case, it's the top of the page, so immediately following the body start tag, we're going to name our anchor. To do that, we're going to use the anchor tag, type a space, type in the name attribute equals, and our name in this case we'll just use top, in quotes remember, and the tag, and then also end the tag with the end anchor tag. After we've done that, then we need to add our text link. Let's go down to the bottom of the page and we'll add in our link. To do that, again, we'll use the anchor tag href equals, in quotes, we want to put a pound sign, the name that we used, in this case, top, and then close that tag. Then we want to type in the text that's going to become the link. In this case, we'll call it top of page. And finally, we will add the end anchor tag. Now, if you've been following along in the previous lessons, we're going to need to make one little change for this to really work the way we want it to. And we are going to go to the top of the page, and what we're going to do is remove the base target tag that we added in in a previous lesson. Otherwise, when we click on that link, it's going to open in a new browser window instead of going to the top of the page. So that's something to consider if you're going to use the base target tag. I'm going to just remove that coding completely from our page. Then we can look at our document, and when we click on the link, you'll see that it takes us right up to the top of the page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.